Still licking their wounds from a heartbreaking one-point loss at Thatcher last week, Safford looked to bounce back against top-ranked Push Ridge Christian Academy. Let's see if they had a prayer in this week's breakdown. After running over the Bulldogs a few times, the Lions opened up the scoring with this 48-yard toss and catch from Christian Fetzis to Turner Harris. But after one quarter, the Bulldogs were only down seven points and had just forced the Lions to punt for the second consecutive time when suddenly, whoop! Taylor Ornelas couldn't hold on to the ball and Push Ridge recovered at the Safford five-yard line. The Safford defense held strong, however, and forced Push Ridge into a 35-yard field goal, and halfway through the second quarter, it was only 10 to nothing. Things started to unravel for the Bulldogs, however, as Push Ridge's Matthew McLeod takes the handoff and throws it back to quarterback Fetzis, who converts it on a second and 27. And then on the very next play, running back Mitchell Maz goes around the right side and seemingly takes the entire defense to finally bring him down. McLeod then takes it around the right side and whoop, whoop, makes a couple Bulldogs miss all on his way to a 23-yard TD. Safford finally got the ball rolling on offense near the end of the second quarter as Manny Aparicio hit Cameron Abril on this long 40-yard pass. The Bulldogs went backwards on the next few plays, however, and its bit of trickery with a double handoff flea flicker only got them back to the line of scrimmage when C.J. Scrivener hauled in this Aparicio pass. The Bulldogs then turned the ball over on a fumble on fourth down. On the very next play after the fumble, Fetzis hit a streaking McLeod down the left side and he could go all the way for a 73-yard touchdown and the route was on, 24 to nothing. It continued to go downhill for the Bulldogs in the third as Fetzis scored on a 10-yard quarterback keeper. But Safford again looked to move forward with the long ball as Aparicio avoids the sack and then tosses this beautiful 36-yard bomb to Abril. The Bulldogs' scoring threat ended, however, when Mitchell Moss intercepted the halfback pass from Payson Harsh. Push Ridge then drove the length of the field, and McLeod capped off his third TD of the night with this five-yard run. Mason Duros then had the run of the night for Safford, taking the ball all the way from the 47 down to the 14-yard line. Safford then avoided the shutout when Duro scurried in from five yards out for the touchdown. The Push Ridge running game was just too strong, however, as they continued to punish the Safford defensive line and get big gains by a variety of running backs as they jaunted down the field time after time. Fetzis then finished it off with a six-yard scamper into the end zone to put the Lions comfortably up 44-6. With the game in hand and Aparicio already sitting out with a bum foot, Duros was then injured on this play during a scramble when he got taken down by an illegal horse collar tackle. Duros' status for next week's game against Snowflake is uncertain. To cap the night off for the Bulldogs, Lions running back Dakota Haynes takes the pitch and runs through one, two, three Bulldogs on his way to the house with a 60-yard TD, ending the scoring on the night 51-6 and sending the Bulldogs packing. Well, I just, first of all, I want to acknowledge the Bulldogs. They did awesome, they played hard. Um, we've been preparing for them for a while now. Um, I mean, they're a tough team, they play physical. Their game last week with Thatcher, that got us on the heels. That we're like, uh-oh, we got to bring our game. And so, um, we prepared, we executed what we were supposed to do. So, we did great today. Well, we put a, a, a good plan together. Safford's a very physical, very tough ball club. We knew we were going to be in for a hard fight. And, uh, you know, the players played. And uh, our offensive line did an awesome job tonight, opened up some holes, and uh, our, our backs hit them hard. That's really, really no secret. They were the better team flat out in all three phases, like I said. And then, uh, but hopefully we respond well coming back. We go to Snowflake next week. Then we have Florence the following week. So. It's, we have an, uh, this last four games are trenches, you know, just treacherous type road, so. Treacherous road games mm -hmm. with uh, some banged up players. Yeah. Best of luck to you, Coach. Thank you. Safford will look to bounce back next week against Snowflake, who lost to Thatcher 27-6. Reporting from Safford for Gila Valley Central, I'm John Johnson.